you see they they had to to um, switch the light because of the precaution and safety of measures. Of course, I understand I, um, completely. Sorry for that. So back to the information about Mr. Zelensky. Uh, really, uh, Ukrainians now understand that he, as a commander in chief, as a president, does whatever it takes to, you know, uh, make uh, Ukrainians uh, fight, uh, to to make Ukraine fight and withstand this aggression. For example, to the day um, uh, the, the news of today was the event uh, of negotiations between uh, Ukraine and Russia. Um, which was taking place uh, on the border with Belarus uh, near Pritiat uh, River. So uh, not too much was expected from uh, these uh, talks, you know, because everybody knows what a Russian war uh, really uh, is worth. So, and, um, uh, oh, thanks God, I, I managed to find some light. Um, hopefully you can see that. And we yes, uh, the, the, latest, the latest updates is, um, really, these negotiations didn't come to any, you know, um, new solution of the conflict. And everybody just, again, uh, have seen that Russia is not even able to talk. And Russia, again, sticks to um, the demands which are not acceptable for Ukraine. Ukraine won't uh, let uh, weapons down and the Ukrainian army is ready to defend itself. And uh, the latest, just the latest update uh, is... Uh, the decision to um, to sign uh, the document, which is um, uh, um, the document about acceptance of Ukraine to the uh, European Union, this was taken here as really a historical moment because this is the claim of Ukraine. So take us to the European Union. Uh, and the President Volodymyr Zelensky, together with the Speaker of Parliament, uh, Denis um, uh, uh Sorry, Mr. Stefanchuk and also the Prime Minister, Denis Shmuhal, uh, three of them signed this document. There was like a ceremony which was seen as a, really a historical moment. Um, Ukraine uh, needs uh, the membership in the EU, they say, and needs it as quickly as possible, and also by the procedure which is called immediate procedure. So special no, procedure. No, great update. Uh, are, yeah, yeah. Mariska, final question to you. I know your yeah. broadcaster One Plus One what has contingency good? plans in order to stay on air in the result of serious uh, bombing in Kiev o overnight. Is that true that you're going to be able to continue broadcasting from some sort of bunker if it comes to that? As you know, all our TV channels uh, have united in one. It's something like you would imagine that you will turn on TV and see uh, Channel 5, Channel 4, BBC, Sky News, GB News, uh, all splitting the shifts uh, for three or five hours. But, you know, as uh, those who are located in Kiev at this point uh, have to go to uh, shelters um, like Maria is now. I'm actually not in Kiev. I'm uh, uh, su supporting uh, the live coverage at a backup studio. So whenever Kiev uh, goes uh, to the shelters, I'm doing this job because uh, I'm staying in Ukraine, but in the place which is now safer than Kiev. That's we're doing all our best that our audience is uh, informed 24 hours. And uh, because we know the bad experience of the previous invasion when uh, uh, people in Donbass were cut off uh, Ukrainian television just in a few days and uh, Russian television was put in place. And we all have all the mechanism, even if they uh, do something to our signal, we'll just disable it. They will not Great be news. able to. Put Great news. All right. Well, look, uh, keep safe, both of you, and keep in touch. We'll be speaking to you throughout the week. That is.